A controversial bill introduced by California lawmakers would tighten the state standard of police use of force. This policy authorizes police officers to use deadly force only when it is necessary to prevent imminent and serious bodily injury or death. Only when necessary as opposed to uh, when reasonable, which is very different in the eyes of the beholder. The bill known as the Police Accountability and Community Protection Act would limit when police can fire at a perceived suspect and could open up officers to criminal charges if they don't adhere to the stricter guidelines. It's not enough that the officer perceived a threat. They had to have, there had to have been no other alternatives to using deadly force. Lawmakers were joined by the grandfather of Stephen Clark. The unarmed 22-year-old was shot to death last month by police in Sacramento, his death igniting days of protests. This tragedy only built on the mountain of injustice that have occurred in this country at the hands of police. According to lawmakers, police shot and killed 162 people in California last year. Only half were armed with guns. Many activist groups say fatal police shootings are out of control and this bill is a step in the right direction. This is the new type of lynching by, by police officers having the right to shoot someone in the back just because they thought they were, they were imminent danger. This has to stop. Law enforcement organizations have opposed previous similar legislative attempts, raising concerns that limiting their options for use of force will make their jobs more dangerous. Lawmakers stress that this would not eliminate the use of deadly force, only allow officers to use deadly force when absolutely necessary.